London, Ontario, the city of double-decker buses, family fun, and much more. Join us as we tag along with Tourism London's Marty Rice and we visit some of the city's most popular attractions. You're watching What's Up Web TV. What's new at the Marriott? Well, at the new Residence Inn by Marriott, we have 116 completely refurbished rooms. They just finished that this year. We're really excited about it, and all of the 116 rooms are suites. Also, you've got uh, breakfast is included in all the packages, as well as dinner from Monday to Thursday. And if you look at the uh, components of our package with all the other products, you'll see that it's a real value to come and visit London. Where is it located? Uh, we're right in the heart of downtown London. Very convenient, very easy. Uh, with the packages that we have, uh, people will be able to come in here and really enjoy the city and take advantage of it. What types of activities can families do here at East Park Golf Village? Well, Tracy, this is wonderful. We have the water slides, as you can see behind us. We've got a splash pad. There's uh, uh, go-karts, bumper cars, there's batting cages. Kids can go and uh, do some rock climbing. Families can bring their picnics in here and just have a great day. We also have an 18-hole golf course on site also. What special events do you have on this summer? Throughout the summer, they have uh, like birthday parties. You can, you can organize a birthday party for your child and bring the kids here in uh, great group rates. And uh, they just have a great time when they come here. Tell me about Fanshawe Pioneer Village. Well, we're celebrating the 51st year of Fanshawe Pioneer Village this year. As you can see, we have about 25 early Canadiana buildings on site from the old church and the schoolhouse, the blacksmith shop, the printer shop. We even have a recreation of the Labatt Brewery from 1847 here. How can families interact in the village? Uh, if you go to the website, you'll see that there's a lot of opportunities for them to, uh, to go into the village and uh, uh, interact with like the print shop show you the history of uh, the London Free Press for example and also if you go to the website too there's a variety of wonderful festivals and events that we have almost on a weekly basis uh, from Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday uh, pretty well here so it's really a great uh, site for uh, people to come and learn about the uh, early education of people that grew up in the southwestern Ontario region Storybook Gardens just finished up a major renovation. Can you tell me about them? Yes, it's uh, 52 years old, so a couple of years ago we took a bulldozer and we cleared it out and we uh, uh, rebuilt it to a tune of $7 million. And it's a, a great theme park for uh, young children, toddlers, right up to about 9, 10 years old. What sort of rides do you have here for the kids? Well, we've got a lot of new rides. We've got a great carousel that the kids can go on, and also a, a train that will take them right around the park. Uh, there's a Ferris wheel, there's all different types of slides, uh, there's a pirate ship that can slide down and high slides that can go up about three or four stories and come all the way down. Who is Slippery the Seal? Slippery the Seal was a little sea lion that we had in just two weeks before it opened in 1958. He took off here, the Thames River, and they found him three weeks later just outside of Sandusky, Ohio in Lake Erie. Uh, they brought him back to London and they had a parade, 50,000 people showed up for Slippery the Seal and basically he became the mascot for the uh, Storybook Gardens and he's been an icon in this city for 52 years. How long has the Children's Museum been open? Well Tracy, this is the first of its kind in Canada, it was open 35 years ago. This is an old uh, a London schoolhouse and they transformed it into the first of its kind children's museum in Canada. How are the kids getting interactive with the museum? Well there's a lot of interactivity going on in the museum. There's a space gallery, a planetarium, a street where you live where they can go in there and they can uh, pretend that they're going to the bank. There's also a kitchen in there they can go in there and pretend that they're cooking dinner or lunch. Uh, just a lot of things to do. There's a dinosaur area. They can actually go fishing for Arctic char if they like, so it's a, it's a lot of fun for kids. To book your family summer packages, visit summerfunpackages.com. I'm Tracy Bazot and this is What's Up Web TV.